most people, when we say Afro-American, uh, they think only of the Negroes in the United States. But they don't realize that two-thirds of Brazil uh, are, consists of people of African blood, which means they're also Afro-American because Brazil is in South America. And in all of these, uh, many of these countries in South America and Central America, and even in Canada, uh, they are heavily populated with people whose ancestors came from Africa. So when you total up the number of Afro-Americans, real Afro-Americans, uh, in the Western Hemisphere, there are perhaps 100 million. And if these people ever unite among themselves, not only is it necessary for the Afro-Americans in the United States to be organized, but, uh, but it's also necessary for the Afro-Americans in the Caribbean or the, the Afro-Cubans, uh, the Afro-Brazilians. It's, it's necessary for all of them to be organized. And then once they are organized in each place, we have to organize among ourselves so that the Afro-American in the United States will be uh, working uh, in conjunction in a coordinated program with those who are in Cuba and those in Brazil and those in Venezuela and those throughout the Caribbean and Haiti and in the West Indian Islands. And in this way, we actually get strength. And it's not an accident that there's no organization existing in the Western Hemisphere that's designed toward that end. It would be, the, one of the, it would be a direct threat to imperialism as it really exists and, and to colonialism as it exists in the West. And one of the things that's going to help to bring this about is, the, is again, is the independence of Africa. And one of the only reasons in the, uh, that we in the West have never organized, we have hated our image and our African image. And because Africa has been in the hands of people who have created an image of Africa that's negative and hateful. And uh, it has been hateful to us. We haven't wanted to identify with it. But now that Africa is getting independent and in a position to create its own image and it's a positive image, uh, those of us in the West look at the African image and see how positive it is. We begin to identify with it. We become proud of, of Africa and we, we become proud of our African blood, our African heritage. And this is what is beginning to make the Africans in the Western Hemisphere today had develop more race pride. And as, as this race pride develops, then it has the tendency to make us want to unite together and work together. And your Western imperialists and colonialists uh, consider this to be a grave threat more threat than uh, communism or Marxism or socialism or anything else. The Africanism is what they consider to be the real threat.